Mother's Day is a day that always brought mixed emotions for me. As a child, I never quite understood the significance of the day. It was just another holiday where we would give my mom a card and some flowers and maybe go out to dinner. It felt like a routine, something we did because we were supposed to, not because we truly felt it in our hearts. As I grew older, my feelings towards Mother's Day started to change. I began to see all the sacrifices my mom had made for me and my siblings. The late nights she spent helping us with our homework, the early mornings she woke up to make us breakfast, the countless times she put our needs before her own. I started to realize just how much she had given up for us, how much she had done to make sure we had everything we needed. But even with this newfound appreciation for my mom, I still found it hard to express my love for her on Mother's Day. It felt awkward and forced, like I was saying the words because I had to, not because I truly meant them. I struggled to find the right words, the right way to show her just how much she meant to me. It wasn't until I became a mother myself that I truly understood the depth of a mother's love. The sleepless nights, the endless worry, the overwhelming joy of watching your child grow and learn and become their own person. I finally understood the sacrifices my mom had made, the love she had given so freely and unconditionally. And so on Mother's Day, I found myself wanting to do more than just give my mom a card and some flowers. I wanted to show her how much I truly loved and appreciated her, how grateful I was for everything she had done for me. I wanted to make sure she knew just how much she meant to me how much I admired her strength and resilience, her unwavering love and support. So I wrote her a letter, pouring my heart out onto the page. I told her how much I loved her, how much I appreciated everything she had done for me. I thanked her for her sacrifices, for her love, for her unwavering support. I told her that I hoped to be half the mother she was, that I hoped to give my own children the same love and care that she had given me. And when I gave her the letter, I saw tears in her eyes tears of joy, of gratitude, of love. And in that moment, I knew that my words had reached her, that she understood just how much she meant to me. And as we hugged, I felt a sense of peace and contentment wash over me. I had finally found a way to express my love for my mom, to show her just how much she meant to me. And so, on Mother's Day, I celebrate not just my own mother, but all mothers. I celebrate the strength and resilience the love and sacrifice, the unwavering support and endless devotion. I celebrate the bond between mother and child, the unbreakable connection that transcends time and space. I celebrate the beauty of motherhood, the joy and the pain, the laughter and the tears. And as I look at my own children, I feel a sense of gratitude and awe. Gratitude for the love and support of my own mother, for the lessons she taught me, the sacrifices she made, Awe at the miracle of motherhood, the gift of bringing new life into the world, of nurturing and guiding and loving with all your heart. So on this Mother's Day, I say thank you. Thank you to all the mothers out there, for everything you do, for the love you give so freely and unconditionally. Thank you for your strength and resilience, your unwavering support and endless devotion. Thank you for being the heart and soul of our families, for shaping us into the people we are today. And to my own mother, I say, I love you. I love you more than words can express, more than actions can show. I love you with all my heart, with all my soul, with every fiber of my being. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being my mother. Happy Mother's Day.